What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Today, we're going to watch Ronzi Contreras, and we're going to watch all of it. I'm going to try and do it. It's going to be quick. I don't know if I can spend a 40-minute video like I have before, but I feel like you guys deserved a long one today after some quicker videos in the past. If you don't know Ronzi Contreras, he throws hard, 97 or so. You're going to see, and also a slider that is pretty cool. But that's about it, and um, I'm just going to kind of watch it and maybe breeze through a little bit as you can see i have chat going um uh, it, they're going to be talking about fancy stuff a little bit i uh, but if you are if you're up at 9 a.m to 11 a.m every weekday morning i am live on twitch at twitch.tv slash petrolist i just answer all your questions we hang out it is a wonderful time you should be there okay but here we go we're gonna watch romanti here so first pitch fine whatever jitters let's just get that out of the way uh, there's a fastball down the middle at 97. He made an adjustment. Fine, he got an out. Connor Joe, honestly, like, if I'm Connor Joe, I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for that heater, right? I'm looking for that 97 right down the middle, and he got it. And to pop it out, maybe that's an indication of Ron Seed's fastball just being really hard to hit. Maybe that's just Connor Joe being like, I'm not that great. I don't know. We'll see. I've got my colors, so that's good. I uh, we'll see. Uh, there's a fastball up at 96. Good to see. That's where you want to actually have it. Oh, there's a breaking ball that I... that That's actually the curveball, not the slider, I believe. He's trying to get some free real estate here. He's way out in front. That's not where you want to put it because, as you can see, you can hook that uh, as black, especially if you're out in front. Um, so you go high heat now. He tries to go down and... and you can oh, man. Blackman is expecting a secondary pitcher he's expecting a slider but i don't know why he is because if you have the uh if you have the curveball beforehand you can see that he has sent down a long way generally the fear is like oh cool i don't give him that so that, that's an interesting half swing from blackman honestly i would say that you throw another fastball here yeah and he went after it 97 because of that yep yeah and terrible at bat from blackman those last two pitches uh, there's a good fastball right on the edge. 97. You'll love to see that. Do it again. And he does. And he doesn't get the call this time, really? It's like the same exact pitch. All right, whatever. That's fine. Do it again. Tries to. Goes up. Good. These are all good. These aren't mistakes. I'm fine with that. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, so Romanzi went fastball, fastball up here, there. And then went with this slider that Crone hadn't seen yet. And it starts off the plate. This is that was my instinct of this, and I'm a little surprised it got a swing. Because generally, when it comes to inside outside on fastballs, guys are really good at identifying what's a strike and what isn't out of the hand. Um, huh? Maybe expected. Maybe there's a little touch of ride on that fastball from uh, from Contreras. But anyway, there you go. And look at that! Wow. Look, I mean, this is, that's how I feel too. Sometimes when you're swinging at a fastball like this and you're missing it. Was there cut action on this? I don't think so. I mean, that's just straight line to it. <laughs> Man, just ate him up. Not a good swing, McMahon. What are you doing? Ah, all right. Nope. That's the curveball again, not the, not the slider, because that's at 80 miles per hour. And there's a fastball down. Wow, well, what a play. That's insane. Oh, I love that emotion. That's amazing. Uh, he's trying to get this up. And I think this is a story a bit of of Contreras is command isn't great. And that's really a danger zone. That's actually why, why McMahon swung before. Is because that spot is where McMahon wants. If you remember the first pitch, like that's essentially where he swung. You know, He was hoping to get that, drop the barrel on it. Yeah, so so what I'm seeing so far, I mean, that's not a bad slider that is essentially he's trying to, like, he, Ronzi's trying to get this for a strike in this one. He's just trying to get it over the plate. And he gets a gift here from Brendan Rodgers. Like, normally at 1-0, you would see a batter passively let a slider fall, because you're not really looking for a slider. You're looking for a fastball that you can hit and drive. So the fact that he swung at this one at 1-0 and got it out, ooh. That's a good feeling, uh, because that's that's ball two. <laughs> um, not too impressed so far, honestly. All right, that's better. 
97 up. You got the first one. I throw a breaker or a second one? Man. I mean, what we've seen so far, these sometimes we have these mistake ones that I uh, that are not getting hit. I will say there I'm sure there was some doubt in the mind of Gritchick if this would be a fastball or slider and that allowed him to foul this off. Oh, oh two, you gotta throw the breaker now. Oh, he went fastball up and Gritchick can hit it. So yeah. Do not throw another fastball. Yeah, but he overthrew that slider. Throw a second one. A better one. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Can you do it a third time? You can't. You just go with a fastball at this point, right? Let's try to do it a third time. You can't do it. Look, I love the idea. I love the understanding. Like, look, you execute one slider here on these three pitches, you get him, right? More likely than not, if you mess up the first one, this next two, you get him because he's going to shift away from expecting a slider after a mistake like that, right? I love that philosophy. But the fact that he just went over three on it is like, oh, God, you got to throw a fastball now. Yeah, and he walked him. And that, that's in a bat of, um, I mean, uh, that was easy for Gritchick. And Gritchick really, honestly, the first 0-2 that was the fastball up that he fouled off in 97, that made Gritchick earn this and forced Contreras to execute. And there's that fastball 97. Okay. I mean, that's kind of there, though. You know, man, he swings at that one. This is This is something my old coach in college would yell about all the time. You don't swing at this one. Which is right there at 97. You can drive that one to right field pretty effectively. And I'll we'll put the red dot here. This is where this one landed. Okay. All right. And, and next pitch. Where is this one? And you swing at that one. And that's... Wait a second. <laughs> Why are you swinging at that one, not the other one? Obviously, the, the bat has changed. Everything like that. I get it. But uh, Contreras is game fortune there. That could have been reversed. Could have swung at the first one and then missed the second one, right? Uh, so now you got 0-2, you throw the slider. You got to throw the slider. Yeah, he throws it away. But this is something I'm seeing from Contreras. I want to see, I, I think with that 97 heat and, and this slider, I want to see Contreras really work the top of the zone and then really work down with that slider. Less of this this more lateral one where he's going outside on it, right? I want to see, you know, the, the slider instead of falling up this way, I want to see it kind of come down here off the plate. We haven't really seen it quite yet. So one, two, it looks like they're going to go fastball again. It looks like, yeah. And that one's up. And, you know, this, I got to say, good job by Iglesias because he's essentially seen this pitch three times, right? You saw the fastball here. You saw the fastball here. And now you see the fastball there. And his eye is there. And, you know, he's adjusted to it. He's improved his swing from the one that he fouled off to actually get this one and push it away. So that's a good job. And that's just, you know, I don't know why he's trying to do that. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. But just going back very quickly. When you have 97, man, you want that. You want here. You don't want this because it could do exactly what it just did. to give him more time to push out to right field. This is where you don't want to go. You don't want to go here and you don't want to go there. You want to go here and you want to go there. Oh, if it goes too far, I can't do it. Okay. Anyway, uh, so now he tries to get free real estate, which you understand, right? We know this. Big bat, Sam Hilliard, big dude. Second and third, right? What do you do? You throw a breaking ball. You throw a breaking ball for free real estate. They're always looking for a fastball to drive. He throws a hanger. This is a hanging curveball. And I imagine, I'm just guessing, foot's down a little early, right, for Hilliard. He's got to wait now back. As you can see, his, his weight's forward, and he's trying to time it right. And he does this, and it's not quite it. I think what happened is Hilliard is looking for a heater. But because the it's 97 versus 80, and this is in such a hittable location, he's able to slow down his swing enough. Um, he gets a lot of time, 17 mile per hour difference, to then adjust his swing. And he hits that to center, but yeah, it's not good enough. I mean, if he was looking for a curveball the entire way through, man. Um, there's that 95, and again, it's middle location. Right? There's HM lock here. It's it's not quite ideal. I mean, it's great that it's on the edge. I'll, I'll take this for a first pitch strike. Cool. Awesome. You got it out. Um, but it's not where he was aiming. You know, it's not the intention. The tension's up here. You know, it, it's a constant thing here with the Contreras. And that's not where he's trying to go. And that's why he doesn't get the call, right? 
There's a slider for a strike. That's fine. That's actually, I think, maybe the best slider I've seen so far. Sure, you can say the one to Crone. You can say the one to uh, whoever grinded up the middle. I can't remember their name now. But that's 1-0. I need to get a strike. Good. That works. Throw it a second time. Yeah. And he got a strike with it. Sweet. Now you can throw a fastball up and in. Oh, he goes a slider off the plate. Oh, man. That's a really nice one-two pitch. That's so tempting. Connor Joe thinks he's earned a fastball now. And he's ready for it. 97, yeah. I mean, again, that's... that. Before we get to this... Again, where is this located? This is the easiest place to hit a fastball. The easiest place. Because you can just let it, let it go out, right? You're just pushing away. You're already late on it. Like this, you have to be a little earlier on. This is the easiest place to hit a fastball. Why are you throwing that when you're trying to strike him out? It's the easiest place to hit it. See, look how much he was leaning. Like he was so shocked. This is like, oh my God. But it's actually, like, right on the inside corner. So, you know, the, you're finding yourself a lot arms, uh, glove side. But you got to be going more arm side here against righties. 91. I don't even know what this was. This is, is it a changeup? Like, what was that? Yeah, I think he's trying to throw a changeup. That's interesting. Ah, oh, man. I mean, yeah, that's just the command isn't there. All right. Fastball, man, 97. It's there. That was it, Blackman. Oh, my gosh. It, it feels like he's just chucking it, and hopefully it works. Wow, he got on top of that one. Get out of here. No way. Oh, nice catch. All right. Oh, man. I mean, this isn't a bad pitch. 0-2? Getting that swing? Sweet. You know, you gave it a ride, fine, but... I'm fine with the the pitch. I mean, the outcome worked, but even if it was gone, I was like, all right, that's good job by Blackman. First pitch breaker to a big guy. Understood. That's free real estate. Hey, that's good. That's good, and that should be an out. Yeah, there you go. I know this looks like he went took it for a ride, but no. Good. Get this ball inside. You see where it is? It's on. It's not on the barrel here. Slightly inside of it. Just enough. To make it so that it's an out and not a home run. That's good. Could go go east west if you can if you can't do north south effectively. First pitch strike. That's free real estate with a curveball. Nah. He's not a man in command. He really isn't. He's just kind of chucking 97. Now it looks like it's an effective one. You know, this isn't like Hunter Green. Hunter Green's they were destroying. But I do wonder. I mean, look at that. He's not executing that one. That's a curveball. Like, he's he's got a... F there, there, there's stuff left to do here. And this is Rocky Road. That is, the Rockies on the road are just not a good offense. Nah. That's a slider that he's... Uh, th this one... Like, he's just trying to get in the zone, and he does. But, I mean, man... That can often just get tugged and destroyed and almost did here. You know, the sense of the warning track. Like, it's not... You know, there are guys we watch on this channel that just... What is that? That uh, surgically dissemble guys. That was a nice slider, by the way. I don't want to really like that. And Contreras is not that. I mean, that's a hanging... That's a one-two. That's a one-two slider, right? I just want to see the dog again. This is supposed to be. This is supposed to be down here, at one-two. And what you get instead is right down the middle. I mean, yeah, no. Not it. Oh, we got free real estate with that. That was. Oh god, this is such that was such ugh. That was bad. That look that's actually not a bad slider. I wish you can do that more often. Um nope, missing command there. Missing location, I should say. That's a good oh, okay, so so Gritchick is upset because he was like he threw two sliders, I mean one was a strike, one was out of the zone. He knew two one that he was hitting sitting for a heater. 
And this is just high enough. Grichik thought, oh man, I'm ready for it. And it just, just got underneath that. I mean, good job on Contreras getting it up enough. You know? You could say, like, oh, it was a mistake. Grichik should have hit it better. No, man. He threw it right. You know? He messed them up. There's free real estate. Good job with the slice. Slider's doing all right as far as getting it in the zone when he needs to a decent amount. It's not a filthy slider, though. That isn't like, oh, man, what a slider. Mm, that's just so sexy, right? That is not Contreras' slider. I wouldn't really call it much of a plus pitch, honestly. You know, so what, what was that one? I, I was completely distracted. <laughs> All right, fastball 97. Oh, Iglesias. Oh, that's, uh, that was a good one to hit. Yes, it's not a PL plus pitch. I got to record the plus pitch podcast after this, though. Uh, another bad slider, yeah. Fastball up. Okay, you can't get past Iglesias. He's going to force you to throw a slider for a strike. That's what's going on right here. And, yeah, Iglesias makes him pay. Like, that was a situation. After those multiple sliders out of the zone, Glacius just sitting for a heater. Being like, look, I, you're going to have to throw a slider for a strike. Otherwise, it's not going to work. There's a curveball free real estate at 76. Barely. I mean, that's those those kind of pitches can go either way. Right? And you don't know how it's going to play out. There's a changeup at 88. Wow, that's not a good changeup, though. Like, that's just a rarity for maybe getting a strike here and there. Hilliard's fouling that off. It means he wants a fastball to throw a breaking ball, is what I would do. Mm, Mancio's second. Oh, man. He can't do it. That's an 82 mile power slider. Oh, I was terrified. I was so terrified. I mean, that's another at bat where, like, where Contreras needs to throw a breaker for a strike because the guys are so clearly in on his fastball at that point. And Hilliard was ready for it. That was a good pitch. Good location. You don't know if Contreras is going to have the location all the time. That's down. It's supposed to be up. <laughs> I missed a pitch here. Oh, I missed the first one. Oh, because of the dog. Sorry. Sorry, I skipped the dog. I'm sorry. Wow, down the middle. Man, that's two straight fastballs. He's just looking for a breaker. Yeah, oh, and, and gets one and swings it. What a terrible at bat from Elias Diaz. <laughs> That's just a terrible at bat. You don't swing at the fastball and you swing at the slider. You, oh, man. Mm, no. Wow. And now Connor Joe's swinging at that? This is not a strike normally. I mean, that's maybe the best slider he's thrown, but not a, not a good 0, 0 slider. Like, that's a good 0-2 slider. That's a good 1-2 slider. That's, if he had that against Jose Iglesias, he would have gotten him. That's a good fastball. I'll take that one. Throw it again. Just a little higher now. Oh, and he froze him with a slider. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed, though, at 82 that there wasn't even a swing on this. He just kind of gave up. Like, normally you see at that velocity, at least, like, that's kind of easy-ish to, to throw the bat out. Even if you're off your front foot. Uh, there's a breaker like we saw in the first inning. Blackman loves it there. Just don't get it there. Change up? Man, throw the changeup away. It's not a good pitch. No. It's gonna walk him. Oh, hey, there's a there's a curveball. Okay, wow. Look at I mean, actually that was a slider. This is actually a really fun thing. Because if you can do this with consistency, actually getting your sliders down here, you will get whiffs like this. I mean, this is this is kind of filthy. But Contreras doesn't have that command. I don't believe that he does. And he got that one down. And good. I mean, that that's good. That's what I wanted to see. You know, that... Uh, this... Living down here with a slider and then a fastball up here is what Contreras' game should be. But what we saw a lot of is, like, fastballs here, fastballs here, 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 and then, like, sliders going over here and, like, falling down here and all that stuff. And it's just like, wait, wait, no, 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 no. I don't want that stuff. Right? But we got it here. We got it in this one. Look at that. That's great. So you can see how much he's on his front foot. Mmm. It's 2-2. I don't care if it's on a strikeout. You got an out. Like, there's no way that's going to be a hit. That's such... 
That's that's an XBA of 100 or whatever, right? <laughs> Even that. Uh, but that's for Ozzy Contreras, guys. That's this fella. This guy. That's only 84 pitches of his debut. I'm not so impressed. He gets the Dodgers next. I wonder if that's going to be a little bit of a trap start. Uh, I mean, not necessarily a trap. I mean, it's the Dodgers. I don't think you should feel confident in it. But I don't think Contreras is a, is finished here. And I think you're going to see a good amount of turmoil because of the locations of his fastball, the consistency of his sliders and his breakers. Um, the fastball is obviously a good pitch. And I don't know how much of this was Rocky Road. That is the, the Rockies not being a great offense on the road. Or if it were just, hey, Contreras' fastball is just really hard to hit. We'll see. Um, we'll see in time. And I'm curious to see how Contreras develops. If he's able to get consistency of that location of the slider. Because the movement to me isn't incredibly exceptional. I, uh, Yeah, we'll see what happens there. But that's going to do it for today's edition of this Pitch Video Breakdown. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and don't forget anything. Also, this morning we have the Nick and Alex Baseball Show. You should be watching that one. That's such a fun, amazing time. I uh, Definitely check out that uh, episode on the channel. But that's going to do it for today. So my name is Nick Pollock. And may your babbits be low and your strikeouts high.